Hey everybody, in this video we're taking a look at text.cortex, an alternative tool to ChatGPT that can help you overcome writer's block. If you're stuck in a creative rut and need an assist to get your ideas flowing, I found text.cortex to really be helpful with that. What I really like about text.cortex is that it has a Google extension that brings all of its features right into your Google Docs and pretty much acts like a co-pilot as you create and develop your content. So what I did here was hop over to Google Trends to find out what's trending. And I came across the news that Tyler Perry recently halted the expansion of his $800 million film studio in Atlanta due to Sora coming on the scene. So let's say you're a blogger, podcaster, or a YouTuber like myself, and you wanted to hop on this trending topic, but not sure what to write about. We're going to see how many ideas Text.Cortex can help us come up with to get content out there quickly so that we can take advantage of this trend while it's still hot. So if you're looking at the screen here, you see I have Tyler Perry recently halted the development of his $800 million studio due to the creation of Sora. So with text.cortex being integrated into Google Docs. I highlighted the text and I'm gonna just hit enter here. And I'm gonna simply ask it to give me some ideas, write more about this topic. Simply do that. And as you can see, text.cortex has gone out and sure, here are some ideas to expand on the topic of Tyler Perry halting the development of the studio. And it gives us a list of things. Background on Tyler Perry Studio and expect expansion. So text Cortex is pretty much guiding us on what things we can write about and how we can approach it. Before delving into the reasons why Tyler Perry halted the expansion, it may be helpful to provide some background information on the expansion itself. This could include details on the size and scope of the expansion, the purpose behind it, and any notable features or amenities that were planned. Uh, number two, expansion of Sora. In, in the original text, it's mentioned that Tyler Perry halted his studio expansion, and we can provide more information on Sora and why it posed the challenge to the studio expansion to help readers better understand the situation. For example, you can explain what Sora is designed to do, how it differs from Tyler Perry Studio, and why it could potentially be a threat to his business. Number three, analysis of the decision to halt the expansion and dive more into that. Implications for the entertainment industry. So as you can see, just with these four items, you already have a huge foundation on which you can develop content. So you could dive deeper into each of these. So what I'll do here is just insert this into my Google Doc. And one thing I have and I haven't figured out yet is when you do insert this into text.cortex, the formatting is off a little bit. As you can see, we have the numbers that are coming above the text here. That's one thing I'll have to figure out personally to make this tool more user friendly because I don't like that about it, but that might be something I just need to figure out. But anyway, we have four ideas here that we can start to expand on. So I just did a little bit of editing to get that off camera here to get it into a format that looks good. And what I'll do now is just highlight this text and see if we can expand on this section. So I highlighted item number one, and I'm gonna ask Text Cortex to provide some details on, we'll say what Tyler has planned for this. And it'll go through and it will do that. Thank you for your request based on your instructions. I'll provide some details. So according to reports, Tyler Perry Studio expansion is set to include 12 sound stages, et cetera. In addition to the physical facilities. So it just gets more into the purpose 
and what his plans are for the expansion unit. So you can take that, I'll take that and copy it and insert it. You can do a whole new document if you want that to be the subject of what you want to talk about. And I'll, you know, paste that here. So that's item number one. And you can essentially go through and do the same thing for number two, number three, number four. But so the purpose of me showing you this is that you can see how text cortex can help you expand on your idea very quickly. And I like that again, it integrates into Google because I can take this and put it into a new document and expand on it from here. And another thing I like about text cortex is you can go into particular, you can go into particular um, items and expand on it there. So if I highlight this paragraph, I can complete it. I can expand on it more, highlight a paragraph and let it, let text cortex complete it. So if we wanted to expand more on this particular paragraph, I'm just going to hit this icon here. And the studio expansion is expected to create thousands of jobs in the entertainment industry and further establish Atlanta as a major hub for film expansion and production. So you can look at this text here, see if you want to insert it into your article. And one great thing you can do is you can use this as a script for YouTube videos. Of course, you can um, make blog posts out of it. You can pretty much use this information however you want to. But the key here and the objective of this video was to help you if you are dealing with a little bit of writer's block, you know, you feel feeling a little creatively stifled right now. It comes in and while you're working on it and, it, and developing your content, it's also putting it into a usable format for you in a Google Doc where you can edit and do, and, and do whatever you want to do with it as opposed to having to like go to perhaps ChatGPT and put all this information in there. And of course you can't go into the text that ChatGPT has generated and perhaps highlight it and ask it to expand on it from there. You can do that, but you'd have to put it back into the tool, expand on it. And then when you have something you like, you have to bring it out into another document, format it, all that sort of stuff. So I do like that you can work from within your document and format it, have it ready. So you can use it as a blog post. You can you know, have it ready as a script. Like I said, for a video, it's all right there in whatever document platform you use, right? And of course, this one is Google Docs. But again, the objective of me showing this video was to show you how the tool can be used to help you overcome creative ruts by generating blog post ideas, outlines, introductions, or even full drafts based on your chosen topics or keywords. So you simply go into your document type a sentence, whatever that subject may be, highlight it and start expanding on your ideas from there. And if you're probably asking yourself, why would I choose Text Cortex over perhaps Gemini or ChatGPT? I did a video explaining just that. Text Cortex versus ChatGPT versus Bard slash Gemini and broke out some of the differences in each one, their strengths and weaknesses, and what each one is best for. I did my best to keep that video short to answer that question, like why text Cortex over some of the other platforms. So check that video out. The link to it is in the description and um, it'll answer that question for you. Thanks for tuning into this video. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you in the next one. This is the Tech Agitator. Peace.